Darla, a 47-year-old homemaker, and her 57-year-old husband Jeff, a construction worker, were experienced and nurturing caregivers. The California couple had already raised three sons of their own and had previously fostered 10 other children. In a 2011 interview with the UK women's magazine Closer, Darla recalled, We didn't know what to expect, they just needed someone to love them. We brought Madeline home when she was four days old, and Macy and Mackenzie came to us at four weeks old. Once the three girls were settled with their new foster family, medical professionals began planning the next steps. It was just weeks after their birth when doctors decided to prepare Macy and Mackenzie for the complex surgery that would separate them. The twins were joined at the hip and shared a non-functioning leg, portions of their intestines, and a colostomy bag. They also shared something else, considerable pain. Life was undoubtedly challenging for the Garrison family, who were caring for not only the three girls but also their three young sons. The upcoming surgery added to their concerns, as Macy and Mackenzie would face more discomfort before they could begin to heal. The procedure required the placement of tissue expanders in the front and back of their torsos, a necessary step in the delicate process of separating the twins. So despite the obvious anxiety, there must have been a collective sense of relief when the day of the surgery finally arrived in September 2003. The complex 24-hour procedure took place at Children's Hospital Los Angeles, where pediatric surgeon James Stein and his team meticulously worked to separate the nine-month-old conjoined twins. In addition to the separation, the surgeons ingeniously used the twins' shared leg to enhance their reproductive organs, giving Macy and Mackenzie the possibility of having children in the future. Against the odds and considering the high risks involved, the surgery was a success. Though Macy and Mackenzie were each left with only one leg, they had survived the operation. The Garrison family must have breathed a huge sigh of relief. As Darla recalled to Closer, the operation was so long, and they were so tiny there was a danger they'd die on the operating table. Fortunately, Mackenzie was able to return home to her foster family after just six weeks of recovery, and Macy followed a month later, just in time for Christmas. However, another significant development was on the horizon as the new year approached. By the time the triplets turned 18 months old in 2004, the Garrisons decided to solidify their bond with the girls by beginning the adoption process. The three girls would balance out their family, which already included their biological sons. Tyler, who was then 11, Matthew, 8, and Luke, 7. Two years after the successful surgery, Darla and Jeff officially adopted the three girls, making the Garrisons an eight-member family. Reflecting on the adoption, Darla shared with Closer, we'd fallen in love with them. Our boys were so happy to have three sisters. But life didn't slow down for the Garrison family. Darla and Jeff wanted to give their six children the same kind of upbringing they had enjoyed, one filled with the freedom and beauty of rural life. So the family moved from California to a farmstead near Indianola, Iowa. The boys and the triplets flourished in their new country home, with Macy and Mackenzie adapting to life with one leg each. It's remarkable how resilient children can be. Linda Contis, co-founder of the agency that connected the triplets with the Garrisons, spoke to People magazine in 2013 about the twins' progress. She observed, when you raise children who have disabilities, if they're surrounded by people who treat them like regular kids, that's how they see themselves. Contis also emphasized the crucial role the entire Garrison family played in the girls' development. She noted, it wasn't just Darla and Jeff, they took in these girls as a family unit. And that's why they're such remarkable kids today. When the girls were around seven years old, Madeline, the non-conjoined triplet, approached her adoptive mother, Darla, with a surprising request. She expressed a desire to have just one leg, like her sisters Macy and Mackenzie. Perhaps it was a longing for the same attention that her sisters received, or maybe it was her way of feeling more connected to them. Nevertheless, Madeline eventually found her own passion, horse riding. 
Darla described her as a wonderful teacher who played a pivotal role in helping Macy and Mackenzie learn to ride horses as well. The twins were also being guided in other important ways. They were fitted with prosthetic legs and attended physiotherapy classes to learn how to use them effectively. Their physical therapy was part of a larger journey of adaptation and learning, which extended into their education. The triplets all attended the same local school, where they had to overcome the inevitable challenges that come with being different. Initially, the twins faced some rude remarks from other children, but they quickly learned to ignore them and instead focused on their interests. The three girls found joy in games and art, immersing themselves in these activities as they navigated the social landscape of school. Their shared experiences in overcoming adversity only seemed to strengthen their bond. Darla, inspired by the challenges her daughters faced, was also drawn back to the classroom. Motivated by her experiences with the twins, she decided to enroll in a physical therapy degree course. She wanted to better understand and support Macy and Mackenzie as they continued to grow and adapt to life with prosthetic limbs. As Macy and Mackenzie grew older, they required more physiotherapy to help them walk with their prosthetics. The process wasn't easy, but the twins were determined. They learned to use crutches to assist with their balance and gradually adapted to the challenge. However, as they reached the age of 10, the rapid growth of their bodies meant they had to change prosthetic legs three times in a single year. This constant adjustment was just another hurdle in their journey, but they faced it with resilience. Darla shared the ongoing struggles and triumphs with the publication, explaining, we're not to the point yet where they can just go out and about with their prosthetic legs. It's a balance issue, you have to train and train, and that's what we're doing with them at school. Despite these challenges, if there was one thing Macy and Mackenzie did not lack, it was the ability to adapt. From a young age, they had been forced to confront and overcome obstacles that most people could never imagine. Yet, they remained upbeat, making the most of every situation. Their early years were anything but easy. Born conjoined, they had to undergo a complex and risky surgery at just nine months old to be separated. The procedure was a success, but it left each girl with only one leg, setting the stage for a lifetime of challenges. Yet the twins and their triplet sister, Madeline, have not only survived but thrived. The journey has been far from straightforward. Macy and Mackenzie's lives have been filled with medical appointments, surgeries, and countless hours of physical therapy. But through it all, they have shown incredible resilience and determination. They have learned to navigate life with their prosthetics, to balance on crutches, and to live with the unique challenges their bodies present. But beyond the physical challenges, the emotional and social aspects of growing up different have also shaped them. At school, they face the stares, and that come with being visibly different. But instead of letting these experiences drag them down, they focused on what they loved, games, art, and the simple joys of childhood. The support of their family has been a crucial part of their success. The garrisons, led by Darla and Jeff, have created a nurturing environment where the girls are treated like any other children. This has allowed Macy and Mackenzie to grow up with a sense of normalcy despite the extraordinary circumstances of their early lives. Madeleine, too, has played a significant role in her sisters' lives. Her initial desire to share in their physical uniqueness evolved into a deep connection through shared activities like horse riding. In many ways, Madeleine's presence has provided a bridge between the world of her sisters and the more typical experiences of childhood. As the triplets continue to grow, their story remains one of triumph over adversity. They have not let the challenges they were born with define them. Instead, they have embraced life with an attitude of perseverance and optimism. Today, they are a testament to the power of resilience, the importance of family, and the belief that with support and determination, anything is possible. The Garrison family's journey, from that tense surgery in 2003 to their present day life, is a story of love, courage, and the enduring human spirit. Macy, Mackenzie, and Madeline have faced more in their young lives than most will in a lifetime, and yet, they have emerged stronger, happier, and more united than ever.